So check out this Yamaha quad. It hasn't been started in around 10 years. So full electric start. So you know I'm gonna have to swap out that battery. It's been sitting that long. Shaft driven, that's kind of cool. Sometimes we're about a chain. So you know I'm gonna have to pull that carb off of there and clean out the carb, change out the oil. See if it's got a battery in it. Because you know I'm gonna have to swap that out. Oh yeah. So I might as well start by taking out that battery because I know that thing's gotta be dead after 10 years. All right. So let me go grab one of these. So if you look at the cells in this thing, there's only one with any fluid in it. All the rest are dry. So you figure that battery hasn't been replaced for 10 years. I was like 29 back then. So I picked up the battery. Battery in there. So now I'm gonna change out that oil. Drain this oil out of here. If the oil wasn't changed for 10 years, then that means I was around, what, 25, 10 years ago? While we're waiting for the oil to drain, while I'm over here, I might as well throw a new spark plug in here. Throw a nice clean one in here. So you figure this plug was from 10 years ago, back when I was like 23. Pop that drain plug back in here. All right, so I couldn't find any Yamaha oil in town, but I did find some motorcycle four-stroke oil that's designed for these wet clutches in here. So I think this will work. So we got the oil done, filled up, topped off, the battery in there. So now I'm gonna pull this carb off of here. Oh man, this carb looks pretty thrashed. The slide is stuck in the carburetor. Man. Yeah, that's gonna be interesting. See if I can even get that out of there. I might just have to throw another carb on it. Yeah, you figure. So the fuel's been sitting in here for like a decade. Everything's just stuck together. So imagine what the jets look like. 10 years ago, man, I was around 18 or so. Or so. Okay, yeah, that thing is pretty bad. So this carb is just too far gone. Someone's just gonna replace it with a new one. Make things a lot easier. So we got this nice new carb that's not all gummed up. So this should help. Yeah, that ought to work. Yeah, and it's so cool too that these direct replacement carbs are already threaded. So I'm not sitting here trying to find bolts and nuts and all that stuff. Makes it super easy. Even the throttle will bolt right up. And even the top plate screws right on. Pop this slide down in here. So hopefully about 10 years from now, I'm. When I'm 35, well, hopefully this carb is still working. And I think if I throw some good fuel in here without the um, ethanol, the good small engine fuel, it'll definitely help it out if it's set long, long term in uh, in a garage. Oh yeah, now the throttle works. Yeah, that ought to help. I'm gonna run some gas to this thing and clear this gas tank out. Oh man, the fuel line just broke off. All right, 
So it looks pretty clear. I got the carb on there and the fuel line hooked up. So while I'm at it, I might as well check this air filter. Cause you know, it's probably dirty. Maybe. It might not have been checked for 10 years. Back when I was like 13. Man, it doesn't even have an air filter in there. I probably have to get a filter for that. Got gas in it. So let me see if it fires up. So it runs pretty good. Let me see if it'll restart now that it's um, warm. <laughs> 